guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting Will I Buy It video. You guys know I film these every other week-ish, uh, just so I have enough new releases to talk about. I know there's a lot of ladies out here on YouTube that do the same series, so I will go ahead and link Samantha March's Will I Buy It a playlist down in my description box. That's where new creators or she just has anyone that makes this type of video able to add their video to this like community playlist and it's an awesome way to find new content creators and new channels i love to peruse through there every once in a while and watch will i buy it videos they're my favorite videos to film and watch so just wanted to give you guys that reminder also if you guys like my little ice cream earrings i did show them on my instagram i will go ahead and link them down below for you guys as well in case you wanted to check them out i love them and uh I wanted to let you guys know that usually I will link my um, earrings in the description box because I do get comments on them. So just wanted to make that general announcement, no pressure or anything, not telling you guys to go buy a whole bunch of stuff. I just wanted to let you know. So I'm so excited because there are some really exciting new launches and I wanted to touch on indie really quick. So I was laying in bed on the, what, 2nd or 3rd of July and this little storybook cosmetics post popped up on my feed and I was so excited because they are back. It looks like they were maybe um, on a hiatus for a little while and they showed this new palette and I'm so excited. It is the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. So they're doing a Sherlock Holmes themed palette. You guys, these are what my dreams are made out of and I can see from the preview there are shades called Watson, Sherlock, and Moriarty. If you guys don't know, me and my husband have cats and one of our cats is called Moriarty. Actually, that was his cat before he even met me, so he gets the credit for giving him such an awesome name. But Moriarty is the villain in Sherlock Holmes, in case you guys didn't know, and our cat is a Lynx Point Siamese and he is such a lover and such a dick at the same time because he'll like aggressively like want you to pet him but also like if he's like annoyed he'll bite you <laughs> so it's like the perfect name for him and the fact that they are doing a Sherlock Holmes palette just like excites me I love the show the BBC version if you guys haven't seen it on Netflix with Benedict Cumberbatch oh my god he's so hot so I love that show I just love everything Sherlock Holmes I've you know it's just such a good series so I am stoked for this palette. I don't even care what the rest of the shades look like. This is totally just going to be mine because the collector in me is just like screaming from the top of her lungs and I'm really excited that Storybooks, Storybook Cosmetics is coming back and they're coming back with a freaking collection Sherlock Holmes. So excited. So Give Me Glow gave us a little sneak peek, another sneak peek of their Vintage Rose palette. This is launching on August 30th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time for $36. I will so be there for it. I hope that's not a Saturday because if it's a weekend launch, it totally fucks me up. If it's during the weekday, I will grab it while I'm at work. But on the weekends, you guys, my schedule, you know, is a little bit crazier. I'm not always by a computer and that's how I miss the Juicy Olive palette launch. So I'm a little bit bitter about that. But I cannot wait for this palette. I love Give Me Glow so so much and all of their eyeshadows are amazing and their palettes are amazing so i cannot wait for that and then i picked up oh they also launched a new single shadow it's called limeade and oh my gosh as soon as i saw this picture i was like i need it so i went to their site and i like was doing the whole back and forth back and forth i was like should i buy more shadows do i need more shadows i bought limeade and i spent i spent 12 dollars on this freaking shadow which is like the price of a whole color pop palette but you guys know i love green so here is the shade limeade i already have it it arrived the other day from give me glow it's so beautiful this is my give me glow green palette i am working on a green palette video for you guys let me just swatch this i haven't even swatched it oh my god it's so good and i was just watching amy loves makeup she 
ordered um, this shade as well, the Juicy Olive palette, as well as some other single shadows from Give Me Glow. And she was talking about how she saw that shade and it like totally did her in. And I was like, girl, I can totally relate because I just bought that, just that shadow for $12, which is not something I do, but I didn't want to buy like more singles and like make my total go higher and higher. So, <sighs> the most beautiful matte green shade look at how much I love green guys look at my fingernails like I can't so I'm so excited about that and yeah it's just so beautiful and I'm so glad they did that another brand I'm so hyped for Sydney Grace is doing multi chromes I am so excited for this they're coming out with three shades and these will be available during their um, Christmas in July sale that they do each year these are gonna be $15 each and you know, all the makeup brands say that multi-chromes are harder to formulate and they're more expensive, so I'm assuming that's why the price point is a little bit higher. I love Sydney Grace, you guys. Uh, they're an exceptional brand. Uh, they make amazing shadows, amazing customer service, like all around just a fantastic company. And sometimes they send me, um, what's the word, PR? And it just like blows my little brain because I don't know how they noticed me but i'm so grateful so keep an eye out for those multi-chromes they're so stunning i think i want all three i just bought the jd glow multi-chromes because they had a huge fourth of july sale the multi-chromes weren't on sale their single like galaxy shadows were so i bought all the galaxy shadows that i don't have because um i originally picked up some of their galaxy shadows see i keep these on my vanity that's how gorgeous these are so these are my current galaxy shadows from jd glow and uh, i had to like really narrow it down when i bought these ones so when i saw that they were 40 percent off i just picked up every other shade that i didn't currently own and i bought their multi-chromes as well as some of their glitter eyeliners because i love the urban decay ones and they had some unique colors so i picked those up i'm on a tangent now nothing to do with jd glow back to sydney grace you guys you know, love Sydney Grace. I love Sydney Grace. There's so many creators on YouTube that love Sydney Grace. And so definitely pay attention to their Instagram because they're doing their Christmas in July sale and they are going to run that through the 21st through the 28th. And they've got bundles, mystery bags. They do different sales. Their singles will be on sale. It's the perfect time to pick up some Sydney Grace stuff. And if you guys want to see any swatches or anything like that, I have a whole Sydney Grace playlist that you can check out to keep an eye on what they have in their range. So those are like all my little indie announcements, stuff I was really excited to see. Oh, and then there was another brand too I wanted to talk about, which was Midas Cosmetics. They actually are launching a yellow palette. And I know there's a few YouTubers I watch that are affiliated with Midas Cosmetics. And I don't know, I bought the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. I actually have it on my eyes today. This is the palette I'm wearing. So you guys will see this video next, probably. Um, and it's an okay palette. I saw a lot of my friends do comparisons between the two and for me I just know yellows are tough for my skin tone and so I'm happy with just the one palette I think that I probably have better single yellows than a palette so even though this is a great price point and it's a brand I would love to try out someday there's nothing from them so far that has really caught my attention so if you guys are looking for another yellow option it's called Midas Cosmetics the Lemonade Palette and it is $18 um, so you can check that out and I believe they have affiliate codes so you should be able to find one pretty easily so now I'm gonna go to trend mode which is where I see all my other makeup news and the first thing I saw this last night I was kind of interested kind of excited kind of told myself like I'm gonna buy that and then I like really thought about it and I was like oh my god it's really just another green blue palette and I swear the last green blue palette I bought I got the whale song palette and I was like okay I need to stop like this is excessive so I think I'm actually gonna pass on this and I've also heard like mixed reviews on the Natasha Denona mini palettes but she is launching a mini Tropic palette. The initial Tropic palette was beautiful. The only thing I was really attracted to was the last row that had those beautiful greens and blue shades. And then she even had a sale during, was it Memorial Day weekend? So before I had a sale and 
that palette was like $100 and I contemplated and I contemplated and I was like I can't justify paying that price for just those last few shades so I didn't get it but this is so cute if you like Natasha's formula I can so see people buying this I feel like this packaging is also like helping its cause because it's so cute and this will be available on July 8th I feel like this is one of the newer more hyped things that Trend Mood has announced because I feel like it's been a little bit slow here on the you know on the YouTube side of things. Uh, Pac-Man collection or their collab with Wet n Wild is now available on Ulta. I actually wanted some of this stuff um, just because it's so cute but I decided like Ulta was doing buy one get one half off and I wanted the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and the powder brush and my stupid butt I was like I added three things and I'm like oh but I want like one more thing for half off and instead of just buying two of the face brushes which was the only thing I really wanted I abandoned my cart and then by the time like my brain computed that I should just do two brushes because I would actually use those brushes um, it was sold out and then I didn't really want anything so I did end up passing on it but I think it's actually really cute I know there's like a whole bunch of stuff happening with Wet n Wild and I can't really speak on that because I'm not a cruelty free YouTuber I buy whatever I like so I don't want to comment, but I think, you know, Wet n Wild does make some beautiful blushes. This eyeshadow palette is really cute. I saw Kathleen Lights did an eye look with it. I didn't watch her video. No, I did watch her video, and she said the tones were very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Alyssa Edwards palette, which I think is actually a very accurate point that she made. I really like the brushes. Uh, they're so cute, so I would love to get my hands on those. And then I also saw the liquid lipsticks in person because my Alta actually sold out of like everything but the liquid lipsticks were there. And I thought that blue shade was actually really, really cute. So I do like the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. I do have quite a few of them because I think for $5 they're excellent. Um, but I actually ended up not being able to find what I wanted with the collection. So I didn't buy anything and I'm okay with it. So Alta came out with a new collection. This is from their own brand and it's the Frida Kahlo um, collection. So there's a blush and bronzer duo, a cosmetic bag, brush set, matte liquid lipsticks, um, face primer, brow, uh, brow master palette, and a beauty signature box and an eyeshadow palette. And there's also a headband and a liquid highlight. So it was quite the extensive collection. I did see this collection on Ulta's website and I thought it was beautiful but I'm not really the biggest fan of Ulta's makeup line. I know I believe it is cruelty free and I bought like their Melissa Michelle collab and that palette had a really good pigmentation so I'm not like completely thinking that it's crappy. I just don't need to spend money on something like this. I think it's an excellent idea. If you guys are a huge Frida fans, I can totally see you guys getting this. I am okay with not buying it, but I think it's an awesome idea. So let me know if you guys picked that palette up. Okay, so BH Cosmetics is coming out with more travel palettes. They had a few that they had launched a couple of months ago and now they're coming out with more. There's Beautiful in Barcelona. There is a Summer in Saint Tropez, which I kind of want that one, but I honestly am kind of taking a break from BH because I bought so many of their palettes and then Glowing in Grace looks beautiful. It's like a beautiful face palette and what else do they have? That's pretty much it. So there's three palettes that they're adding. They're all 16 bucks each and they all launch on July 10th. There's been so many new releases from BH that I think I might, you know, when I find a good deal, when I'm ready, I might place a big order from them eventually. But right now I have so much makeup that hasn't even made it on my channel yet that I'm going to wait. But oh my gosh, that face palette is beautiful. You guys know I love a glowy blush. So... Out of all three of these, Glowing in Grease is the one that's really catching my eye and the um, packaging of all of these is so cute as well. Okay, so Estee Lauder has a new collaboration with a Nigerian-born British fashion designer. Duro Olowu is renowned around the world for his brilliant clash of color, pattern, and texture. The London-based designer's work celebrates freedom of expression, individuality, and timeless international style. I am honestly so glad that Estee Lauder did something like this. I think this is gonna appeal to a younger audience. It's so fresh and fun and the mixing of the prints and I have never seen Estee Lauder do anything like this. So I'm like blown away. I didn't even notice, like if I looked at this, 
and I didn't see it was made by Estee Lauder, I would have never guessed this was Estee Lauder. I would have guessed like a hundred other brands before I guessed Estee Lauder. So I think it's kind of awesome that they're doing something like this. I have no plans of picking any of this stuff up, but I think it's really, really cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm like low key happy for them for like getting outside their comfort zone, you know? So ColourPop as per usual, they've got some new empty palettes and they did have a pretty decent sale for the 4th of July. I wanted to pick up more of their new blushes that they did with Kathleen Lights, but by the time I made up my mind, they were sold out, so silly me but they did do these new empty palettes so affordable and then they also did a curated palette called passport to summer for forty dollars um and it's cute i feel like i have all those shades so i'm definitely not buying it but um you know if those colors speak to you why not you know what i mean okay jouet um launched a new highlighter i remember when everyone was going crazy for their was it tan lines that highlighter they had Everyone was going nuts for it, and now they have a new one called the Molten Glow All Over Face and Body Highlighter. Um, looks like it's about $28. I feel like that's a decent price point. And Jouer does have a nice highlighter. It kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Amber Easy Highlighter. I don't plan on picking this up. If you need to buy like your 80th highlighter, you might want to consider picking this up. So Viseart did a collab with the brand Alcone. I believe this is a makeup shop in, is it in New York? Yeah, it's uh, the Downtown Paladin is an exciting collaboration that celebrates the unique and vibrant spirit of downtown New York City. This palette honestly is so beautiful and if I had a spare $80 to throw away, I would buy it. But I know I'm not a fan of the Viseart Shimmer Formula, so even though this curated palette looks so beautiful, I know if I get it, I'm not going to like it. So I didn't even go there, but it's beautiful and uh, if you guys like the Viseart Shimmer Formula, I like it a lot. It looks like a fall palette, but it's still so beautiful. So Hourglass is coming out with some new shades of their glitter eyeshadows. These are $29 a piece, which is why I don't own them. I actually really don't like having single shadows, especially pot singles. I got rid of almost all of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows because I just couldn't deal ha with having to like pick them up you know, anytime I needed to do a makeup look. So I'm just not a fan of single shadows. Although when I was in the cities in Minneapolis with Angelica, I swatched those Ciate eyeshadows that come in the jars and that black shade is gorgeous. I think I saw uh, the Fancy Face talk about them and she was going on about that black shade and when I swatched it, I knew why she was so excited about that shadow. So I have it in my Sephora cart. I might buy it, but oh my God, it's so gorgeous. If you get the chance, please consider swatching that because it's unbelievable. So, so Morphe relaunched these bronzers they came out with. I think these came out last year sometime and they sold out and I think Alta's website still had them because I have this in my like save section because I contemplated buying it, but I never did. Um, and they look really big and I don't think they were too pricey. So I'm glad that they relaunched them. If I see them ever again in store, I might check them out and swatch them and maybe pick one up. But I love bronzers, you guys. So any brand that comes out with a bronzer makes me happy, <laughs> especially when they do more than one shade so that other people can also enjoy a bronzer. Cause I know a lot of brands are notoriously good at only creating one shade, which is not helpful for anyone. So Natasha Denona is on a roll. Honestly, this lady, she's sneaky. She's like the high-end color pop. So she came out with some beautiful sparkly metallic chroma crystal liquid eyeshadows. She's got five shades and they are $25 each. I like the idea of this, but honestly, I don't even use the liquid shadows I have. So I don't need to spend 25 bucks buying more liquid shadows to just sit there so i'm not gonna buy it but i think if you're a huge natasha denona fan i can totally see you buying these mac is coming out with a mac love me lipstick it is a argan oil infused formula with a satin finish and special packaging in nudes reds and purples for 19 dollars each i'm not gonna lie this packaging is adorable I can't tell you the last time I bought a MAC lipstick because I was like really into the MAC limited edition stuff and I would collect it but I've decluttered most of my MAC lipsticks and these are coming out August 1st. I think they look beautiful. 
um, but I won't be buying them. I just wanted to talk about it. So the new Melt Digital Dust Highlighter is available in Genesis and Morningstar. I want Genesis so bad, you guys. I want it so badly. I don't want to spend the money. It is freaking 30, was it $39? I looked it up when it launched and I was like, I cannot pay $39 right now. So I didn't, they did have a really good 4th of July sale. So I did pick up the blue stack, which was 30 bucks. I was like, come on, that's like so cheap. And then I bought their pencil book, which um, Scott Barnes has been talking about in Tati's videos. Uh, because sometimes I do makeup on other people and it would just be nice to have all of my pencils in a book like that so I can travel with it. And I also bought a highlighter from them, I think, but oh my god, I would love to own Genesis. If it comes to Sephora, I'd be more likely to pick it up, but I cannot pay $39 for it. It's too expensive. I just think that's ridiculous considering all the face products I have. So passing on that, Zoeva launched their summer collection i think it's called a glow collection uh this is so beautiful there are some rose hip oil infused liquid illuminating drops luminizers uh there seems to be an eyeshadow palette and yeah just a bunch of stuff this collection those blushes remind me so much of hourglass oh my gosh and much much cheaper than hourglass so if you guys live in a country where you can get a hold of zoeva i would totally recommend checking it out and letting people know if it's worth the price tag okay so kylie minogue is coming out with her own beauty line which like i don't know if you guys are even like old enough to know who kylie minogue is i remember her like pop career being at its height maybe when i was a kid because she had that song like it was love at first sight because baby when i okay i'm gonna cut all of that singing out but like is she even relevant like i'm not trying to be mean because like you know people age like life happens but when you're like a celebrity and a pop star like are you still really relevant when you're Kylie Minogue? Like, let me know if you guys actually know who Kylie Minogue is. I would like love to hear your feedback on that. I mean, this collection looks really fun and colorful. I've never like noticed her makeup to be like fun and colorful. Like, that's not really the vibe I ever got from her. She was kind of like the Jennifer Lopez of Australia is how I would describe her style. So, um, yeah it's a little bit interesting and manny is this manny mua commenting on on trend mode does he do that he said did us thought this was more kylie cosmetic summer with a skeleton head <laughs> oh i don't know cringe anyway <laughs> yeah i don't know why kylie minogue is coming out with makeup you guys oh gosh she needs to reconsider that so NARS Summer Collection is called the Private Paradise Collection 2019. Two face palettes, a gloss set, an afterglow lip balm duo, and a satin lip pencil set. So I do love a good NARS face palette. That second palette, I think the one for deeper skin tone that has the orange blush, uh, looks amazing. But I have so many NARS face palettes that I don't need this. This is coming out on the 26th of July. It says NARS Asia. So I'm guessing it might not launch in the US. I don't know. Anyway, it's wonderful. They make some great face products. So if you want to try NARS, I would totally recommend it. Can be hit or miss though. So I've definitely bought face palettes from them that have been dry and dusty and terrible. And I've also bought face palettes from them that have been really good. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. And also they're typically kind of pricier too. So keep all of that in mind. And next, um, Too Faced relaunched their gingerbread palette. I think this was a smart move for them. It was their holiday palette. And honestly, it's probably one of the better holiday palettes from Too Faced. It would have been smart if maybe they waited until like fall to relaunch it. But, you know, because it's like a Christmas themed palette. But whatever, man. Give the people what they want. You know what I mean? So Kylie is coming out with some things for the summer, Miss Kylie Jenner, and she has got this palette, this eyeshadow palette that everyone is losing their mind over. Um, it has some beautiful shades, I'm not gonna lie, there's like a green and stuff, but honestly at the end of the day, it's just a neutral palette. So I don't know if you actually got this, if you would actually get that much use out of it. 
and I don't know I mean that purple shade is beautiful the two greens look gorgeous but everything else I feel like I have 10 times over I like that she's doing those shimmer pot eyeshadows but again I never go back and reach for those the shade aqua mama screaming my name but other than that I'm not really super interested in that so I am passing on that and then uh, Stila is coming out with more of their little liquid shadows this time they're doing a Stila suede formula it's a multi-dimensional matte liquid eyeshadow with subtle iridescent pearls add a hidden lift to the formula there's a few different colors I think Mel Thompson did a video with them I didn't watch it because again it's not something I'm interested in uh, but if you guys are wondering about that particular product, I would recommend checking out Mel's video because she is amazing. Milani came out with a new palette called the new Gilded Ember Hyper Pigment Face and Eyeshadow Palette. This is available on Amazon. It's got nine eyeshadows and two highlighters for $19.99. I think this is a great staple palette. I don't think I'm necessarily the target market for this palette, but I can see somebody that wants an everyday palette buying this to use to work and stuff like that it totally seems appropriate so you know if that's you pick it up and hopefully it's on prime so you don't have to pay for shipping here is something this is so stupid but i really want it it's a new shade of the beauty blender it's called glow and it's basically a neon green you guys know i love green Ugh, like come on like look at my background anyway uh so i just like want this to have but it's so stupid, so I'm not gonna buy it, but it's really, really cool. Okay, Angelica got really excited about this launch because it was announced when we were hanging out at the Mall of America, and this is Linda Hallberry's Fantastics. She said she loves this formula. She honestly was so excited that it almost made me want one, but I haven't I haven't pulled the trigger yet because these are $23 a piece. She did tell me, though, that Linda Hallberry is available, I believe, on Beauty Bay, so if you guys want to not pay, like, or not spend $100, because I think you have to spend $100 to get free shipping on Linda's website. Um, Beauty Bay is a little bit more affordable. So these are cute. I have the new ColourPop stick blushes. I got the milk ones. I have a lot of like products like this, so I can't really justify spending on it, but I think it's really, really cute. Okay, Buxom came out with two new eyeshadow palettes. I just saw Terror Babies swatch the Sephora one, which is called Boss Babe Betty, and then I saw the one that's on. Um, Alta has both of them. There's a Betty and a Dolly, I believe, and the Dolly one is more purples, I feel like. I don't know, Buxom is one of those brands, I don't know if I wanna say they're like a one hit wonder because everyone loves their lip gloss, but other than their lip gloss, they're not really known for anything else. I feel like these palettes are so late to the game, like this is like 2016 level palettes and uh, it's so sad and like even Terra Baby swatches didn't even like look that great, like she was like, oh they're so creamy and so pigmented and I'm like, oh, I don't give a shit. So. Pass. <laughs> Next, Kari Bible is doing a something. She's doing a collab. I don't really follow Carly Bible as closely as I used to. I used to watch her a lot, but she became one of those YouTubers like I can't relate to at all. I love that she is so connected with like doing good stuff for the earth and stuff like that. That seems like a really good mo like message that she spreads. But other than that, like I don't like how she dresses. I don't really like a whole lot about her. So I don't really follow her very much. The other thing I do want to kind of give a little shout out to Samantha March. She hasn't announced what she is launching yet, but she has been hinting that she is coming out with something. Um, she's doing some kind of collab. She filmed her announcement video. I think that should go up tomorrow. Um, so to what day is it? Today is the 7th. So this video is going to go up the same day as her announcement video. So I think it's going to be a highlighter. That's kind of what she had like hinted that it was going to be. So I'm really excited for Samantha. She is honestly a really sweet human being that has done a lot for this community. So I am really excited for her and so happy for her. So Elf is coming out with a collection called the Jelly Pop and there's makeup and skincare. Uh, luminous watermelon infused loaded with skin quenching ingredients for a hydrated glowy skin look. So there's a blush brush, there's a cleanser, primer, juicy glasses, water gel moisturizer, blah blah blah. 
this is a limited edition collection so what if you fall in love with something you're not gonna be able to repurchase it once it's done being limited edition i won't be buying anything like i said i'm not a huge fan of elf you guys so i don't want it but you know some people like affordable skincare and makeup and there's nothing wrong with that Too Faced launched some skincare they have a hangover good to go spf 25 moisturizer with coconut water they launched a hangover good in bed hydrating serum um, major hangover super size replenishing face primer for $49 I bought the hangover face primer because I think Kathleen lights used to rave about it I honestly didn't get the hype so I ended up I think I sold it on my Poshmark I love the smell of coconut so you can literally market anything with a coconut scent to me and I'll probably buy it but I feel like I kind of got scammed with that so I won't buy any more of these but I know a lot of people swear by that product so you know, it is what it is. And then ColourPop did launch last week or so the yellow palette. It's called Aha uh -huh Honey. And like I mentioned, it is the palette I have on my eyes today. So this look will be up next probably for you guys. And yeah, I picked it up. I picked up the brushes as well as the blush I have on today, which you guys will see in that video. I think, you know, I'm glad they finally did a yellow palette. I wish they had put a few more dark shades in there. But overall, you know, good for them. They've got a lot of monochromatic palettes. I would love to see. I don't even know. I don't know what they're going to come out with next because yellow was the most requested color. I think it would be fun if they do like a neon palette, but I feel like that's what their festival palette was. So we shall see what they do next, guys. Who knows? So I really want this, but I won't buy it. Charlotte Tilbury launched her Hot Lips 2 collection. These are iconic, like refillable packaging. There are five packaging options, I think. And then you can just buy the refillable bullets. These are so beautiful. I saw them in store, but they're $37 a pop. And I cannot bring myself to pay that kind of price. I wish I was Instagram or YouTube famous because I wish Charlotte Tilbury would just send me these because I cannot afford to pay $37 for a bullet lipstick. Plus, I'm not a fan of bullet lipstick, so it really doesn't make sense for me to buy them. I would maybe pick them up during a sale, just like one color to try out, but you guys... It's, it's too expensive, I can't do it. Okay, so Smashbox is coming out with a Studio Skin full coverage 24 hour foundation, weightless feel plus oil and shine control, 40 shades, $36, one fluid ounce and cruelty free. I love all of those things, I love full coverage, would love a 24 hour wear foundation. I might take a peek at the shade range honestly and see if there's something I'm interested in but I just got the pure four in one love your selfie foundation that's actually the one i'm wearing today and it went on really well i'm pretty impressed with it um the smashbox foundation will launch on the 26th of july so hasn't come out yet i'm definitely waiting for auntie pat mcgrath <laughs> because i'm so excited i'm so excited to see what her foundation is like i'm literally trying not to buy any more makeup until i see what auntie pat's foundation is going to be like. Uh, plus that's going to be like a $200 makeup purchase. So I think I'm set for July. That's like the only thing I'm going to buy. Um, okay. The Nordstrom anniversary sale, they do do some exclusive like makeup stuff. I know some YouTubers, like I think Emily Noel usually buys all of the Nordstrom exclusive stuff from the sale and does like reviews and stuff. I am seeing on Trend Mood the sneak peek of a MAC palette and it honestly looks boring AF. So, yeah. No real plans. I did get the catalog, but it's not something I'm like interested in featuring on my channel, to be very honest with you guys. So, um, BH also launched their new Zodiac palette. This is the palette for Cancer. Honestly, this kind of caught me on, off guard. It's a very grungy palette. Um, doesn't seem like a BH Cosmetics palette at all, but I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not my vibe, but I can see people really being interested in it. I might pick it up if I can grab it on sale. Otherwise, I probably won't go for it. I have a few of their Zodiac palettes, and I think the quality is really nice, but I've kind of slowed down on buying them because I was buying like one each month, and I didn't need to do that. Beauty Makery is doing a collab with... Uh, Boom Cac MUA, uh, pro makeup artist, um, and is based in Los Angeles. 
Um, and he collabed with Beauty Bakery to do some glosses. These have already launched. I honestly didn't know anything about this collaboration. I have a few things from Beauty Bakery. They're not like my favorite brand. I feel like they're okay. Um, they are black owned, so I know a lot of people really enjoy supporting them. Um, let me know down below if you had planned on picking anything up from that collaboration. I personally had not done that. Okay, here is something when I saw this, I literally screamed. Color Red is collabing with the TV show Power. OMG, Power is such a good show. If you guys haven't seen it, I think it airs on B Stars. Okay, it says right here, Stars. And so I'm so pumped because it's a good show. I can't even imagine what the colors are gonna be like. Like, I don't even know what to expect. Uh, but yeah, it's a good show. It's a really good show. And I love Colored Rain. So this is like an amazing thing and it's gonna come out in August. So I am totally ready. I gotta save up my pennies so I can pick that up. Okay, so Turnmood also posted about Revolution Pro, which I just believe is another version of Revolution Makeup, which is like a UK makeup brand that is also sold at Ulta, at Target, like they're everywhere. The whole Pro line seems to just be dupes of high-end things. So they have like dupes to all the Pat McGrath palettes, they have a dupe to like the Huda palettes. I don't really necessarily care. Personally, my thing with Revolution Makeup is I've never enjoyed their form formula so I don't really want to buy any of this stuff and test it out for you guys but let me know what you think I I've, I've never had good luck with them I'm just gonna be honest with you guys um, but I'm sure there are so many people out there that have bought palettes from them and they're so cheap like I don't blame people because like if you can buy a $7 eyeshadow palette like why would you buy anything more than that if you're not into makeup you know what I mean okay so we've got another collaboration um, who is this? HNB Cosmetics and Holly Boone. I don't really know anything about either of these brands, but it looks like it's a limited edition collab with a UK based breakup brand. And there's an eyeshadow palette, which is like a pretty rainbow palette with some neutrals, not really interested. I don't really have anything else to say about that, so I'm gonna just move it on. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, um, I heard some people talking about this. Not something I'm planning on picking up, but MAC is collaborating with Mary J. Blige and basically celebrating 25 years of music. I love some Mary J. Blige, but I'm definitely by no means like a stan of Mary J. Blige, so I'm not planning on buying those, but I have heard a lot of people like raving about it and excited to pick it up. So let me know if you were one of those people. LC Cosmetics is la launching a setting powder. This this actually already launched on June 26. I did try LC a long, long time ago when Desi Perkins was raving about it and every YouTuber was talking about their foundation. So I bought it. It was so expensive. And honestly, I didn't see the hype at all. They are now sold on Ulta's website. So you might have heard more YouTubers talking about them recently. But personally, I just feel like the brand is a little bit too expensive for me. So passing on that okay guys i feel like i've been sitting here for a million years talking about new makeup releases so i am going to cut this video right here and i will catch you guys in my next video soon thank you so so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day bye guys